Hey guys, welcome to another upgrade video. Today I'm gonna do one of the biggest upgrades yet. I'm gonna upgrade the electronics. Uh, as you can see, I have set up all the electronics that I'm going to change. I'm gonna check it out. As you can see, servo is working and the motor as well. What I got is a 2S kit, an ESC and a 7200KV motor. I'm not sure about the motor, it's pretty small because of the high KV. I hope it will have enough torque to move the car, it's pretty heavy. I will only test it after I build everything up. The servo is a ES3104 from Emax. It has a 3 kilo torque. I'm pretty sure it will be enough for the car, but also I will check it out. By the time we will upload the video, it will be after a test run, so I will know if to recommend it or not. So, let's get to it. First of all, let's get on the cover. Like the battery. First of all, I'm going to remove the ESC. My guess is it's glued. Yeah, I'm gonna it glue. So you can see the AC is out. So this will show you if you have an ESC problem. And if you want to change it, of course, this is the ESC and the RX and everything inside combined. So this is out. Very simple. I'm gonna now take out the servo. You need. Let's go inside. Like it's connected. That's it, the server is out. The server of this car is very weak. I did test it. But ago, a tip I gave a few videos ago: keep the screws where it's supposed to be. It will save you the hassle of finding out which screw goes where. So the servo is out. Uh, I will start by putting the new servo in because I don't want to take apart too much stuff at the same time. First of all, the servo. So inside. Okay. Before you connect back the servo plug, you need to just put the wheels straight. And you need to turn on the servo so we'll get the zero spot. Okay. 
Okay, so now it's in the center and you can connect. Of course, after you can trim it if you have some changes, but this is how you change the servo. So, get this back in. Not sure if the same screw will fit. Not good. We need the screw carrying the servo. Okay. As you can see, it's working very well. Immediately you, you can see it's have a lot more force than the original servo when the car is on uh, standby on the ground. The wheels almost cannot move. This moves very easy, very responsive. So very nice. So this is uh, currently showing you how to upgrade the servo. But if you're not upgrading all the electronics, you, have a, uh, you cannot use this servo because <coughs> the original servo has five wire. How did I put it? It's a five wire servo. A uh, five, five wire servo means that all the brain of the servo is in the ESC of the combined RX. And this servo has a three wire, like in a hobby grade. So maybe you can find a, a better 5-wire servo, I doubt it, but if you upgrade all the electronics, make sure you upgrade the servo. So let's continue. I'm going to take out the motor. That's it, the server is out. I'm not sure what is this. There's some rubber piece here. I'm gonna leave it same way. So as you can see the motor inside the motor mount. Okay, now to first I will remove the gear. Probably one and a half. Didn't find the exact the bit I needed, so I use the T6. That's my guess is it's one and a half Allen screw, Allen wrench. So now we remove the motor from the motor mount. That's it. So now to set everything up, we need to remove this plastic cover. I did break it a bit in one of the first upgrades, but it doesn't really bother me. So that's it. Now let's put in the new motor. It has 
two further holes that will fit. I hope the shaft will be long enough. It's a bit shorter than the original motor. Most of the hobby grade cars have some movement in the motor mount so you can set it up just correctly. This one doesn't, so we just need to hope for the best. Feels okay. I will upgrade the big spear. Let's go here later for a metal one, but I will do it in a separate video. So this was the motor upgrade. So if you have the fried motor, all you need to do is first of all take out the bottom four screws, take it out, then the gear, then the motor mount, put it back. It's better if you open the plastic case, see if it's, everything sits okay, close it back. And you have a new motor. So I don't want to run it without all the screws. So we just need to put it back. Sorry guys, I ran out of battery for the camera. We are just about to check that everything is okay. Yeah, I took the time when I charged the camera to change the plug of the battery. I do not recommend uh, soldering a lipo, uh, but I have a lipo bag and lipo guard. If you know what you're doing, you can do it. If not, just buy an adapter. So let's connect everything. If you watch the wheel, okay, so if everything works fine, just connect everything back. So we will start by connecting the ESC. Plug the battery. See where to put the receiver. Put it on the servo. Yes. So. 
I think of the best place to put the switch, the on off switch. Can be at the side. Seems to be okay. Okay, let's look at everything. Everything it looks nice. Battery in place, the ESC, the motor. Receiver, the new servo. Hello, the servo. Not sure how the diff will uh, last in such high power, but I will let you know. So, you saw everything, all the electronics upgrade. You can do some of them, maybe if you have a problem with the motor, the ESC, you don't know how to change it. I hope this will help you. Thank you for watching. I see you guys next time.